Lucas, he actually is 80, 87 kilograms. He said 75, they probably, yeah, probably a typo. This is 85 kilograms. Yeah, but he said 75 on the screen, so it's probably... Oh, so they'll, they'll yeah. got it wrong for sure. Yeah, because I can't, I don't think he's that small. <laughs> How about Man, uh, Arnaldo? Maidana's got a lot of good training partners. He's out of California. He's training with all those guys. Marcelo Mafra, Lucas Lecce, Buchecha, João Assis. Plenty of good training partners. It's very strong. Probably, the, probably one of the best, if not the best, heavyweight camp out there. Um, yeah, man. He's going he's to... Got, he's got his hands full, though. Lucas Hosha's no joke. Really good closed guard, Lucas Hosha, right? Uh, yes. Uh, Lucas Rocha, he's definitely good in guard. And on the top as well. Let's see what happened. Nine seconds to to see what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you can see Lucas was looking at the clock. He's got really ago. dangerous. He's very I think good he's at sweeping. Pull any second now. You look at the clock again. Here we go. Uh, gonna it's touch open. Him. Who is going to pull guard yeah. first? Yeah, because if whoever, whoever wins that right there is going to score. That's very two. good timing for Lucas Rocha. Yeah, the referee did not give Arnaldo anything. The reason why they're going up and down, bro. You. You want to explain to everyone? Because sometimes the fans don't understand what's going on there, but it's very tactical. It's very tactical. The thing is, if you jump guard first and the other person jumps guard together, whoever ends up on top gets the point. So you get to get the right timing to jump guard before the person is on the bottom. That because is not do, points at all. If you do it together and one of them decides to come up, whoever comes up on top, get under IBJJF will get an advantage here. They're going to get two points. Correct. That's the difference. And I think it's good. And it makes the, uh, the fighters to get the right timing that one is up, to pull when the guy is up because yes. if you pull when the both is down it turns into almost like let's let's fight to be on top now exactly it goes and that's why they go let's, up and down let's up see and who down. sits first to go into let's see who ends up on top but then that's the beauty of the three rounds because now lucas rocha took the advantage on the beginning let's see how uh, if you can do the same thing the, the maidan is going to do the same on the second round or not That danger from the steamer lock Arnaldo, out there. Yes. With the submission attempt on Lucas. Lucas looks really relaxed there. He's, He's very flexible, worried. you know. His joints <laughs> is crazy. It's so bendy. You got flexible joints, bro? I used to, <laughs> but not to the age of 37 no more. <laughs> 37, man? <laughs> I'm 37 already, my man. I'm going How old are you? I'm going to 36 next month. Oh. I'm not excited baby. about it. Oh, baby, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm reaching all my 40s already. But then that's a very good setup. For they, they call us middle-aged men. Sorry? They call us middle-aged men. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have been having my middle-aged crisis already. So I can... Oh, I can, my, mine I can started in my that. early 20s. <laughs> I've been going through them for a long back time to, now. <laughs> back to front. That's a good attempt. I love this uh, attack with the... It reminds me choke. of the jo Josh Hinger fight with Izaki Bayensi. Exactly. It's a good mm, setup yes. for the guillotine to, to get the to dark show. It's a good attempt. This is one of the best and safest way to attack when you cannot pass someone's guard. Because you're not exposing yourself. Yes. Yeah, you can see Lucas is a very good guard player. Like how light his hips are. He just moves very easily. Left, right, has no problems. Just you, I, That's one thing I'm always paying attention. You can spot a good guard player by how they move their hips. I normally compare hip movement in jiu-jitsu as well. Is that for, for that? Lucas Hosha with the leg lock attempt. Maybe a heel hook can come. Yeah, he's got to sweep him though. It's he's gonna, gonna hard close the triangle over there, try to throw Maidana to his right. That's him. Lucas needs to put Maidana's knee on his chest so he can take him out of balance and throw him to the right. Because if he stays out there, he's gonna get uh, clash with the knees together. This position is gonna go really well, really bad for you. If exactly. You, if, if, if Arnaldo manages to stay heavy there, you're gonna burn so much energy trying to get him over. But again, if you get him over, you're straight into the honey hole position. Exactly. That's where. Uh, Gordon Ryan, Gary Turner, and Eddie Cummins are very good at. They have such a strong hips and knees to hold the position, throw the guy from the right to the right hand side. But the thing and is, it's Lucas can train. Yeah, because it's, it's not, it's not an, uh, normally the bottom guy that is losing, but exactly. like some people just have it. You're right. That's a very good pressure pass. Is he going to take the back? Well recovered by Lucas, but with the guillotine attempt. Wow, nice that was Arnaldo on. with the guillotine attempt. Lucas needs to start rolling. Oh, this could He's be bad. to give the part, the, the sweep. He's attacked. He's attacked. Oh. Well, he has Arnaldo a lot of blood in his mouth. mouth. I think he used the mouth to keep the head of Lucas on, on the guillotine. Impressive. Great win by Arnaldo. Winner by guillotine show, Arnaldo Oliver.